Welcome to Open House NYC. Right now I'm coming to you from a chic apartment in the Flatiron District that combines classic elegance with stylish contemporary living. From the richly detailed foyer, you drift into this impressive great room. It's a warm and welcoming space that includes an open kitchen. High ceilings keep things airy and large picture windows frame the historic neighborhood beautifully while letting in plenty of natural light. Three bedrooms are kept separate for privacy, including a luxurious master suite. In all, the home is well over 2,500 square feet of gracious modern living. We are getting started with Refinery29 co-founder and editor-in-chief Christine Barbrick. Since 2005, Refinery29 has become a leading online fashion and cultural destination for women with stories that both inspire and entertain. We recently partnered up with them for a peek inside the home of one of New York's most dynamic personalities, the ever-fabulous Stacey London. Now while Stacey is known as a fashion sage, her Carroll Gardens home in Brooklyn proves that style isn't just about what you wear. Thank you so much for having me over. I love coming over to your house. I'm always so happy when you're here. I mean, you know, we should establish the fact that you've come here many times. I know, I know, it's true. <laughs> but I always come away with so many new, like, tips and details and inspiration, not just from your closet, which is epic, Thank but your you. home. What I wear and my surroundings need to make me feel beautiful and safe. And that's what I've tried to do in the way that I dress and in the way that I've styled my home. Well, let's check it out. Okay. Yeah. So one of the things I love about this space is that as soon as you walk in, you see this beautiful, inviting dining table. So I was pretty excited to find this piece in incredible condition. I found the chairs separately and I had them recovered in shibori leather. I just love the feel of it. For me, it's also about composition. Mm -hmm. It's what works with what. You know, it's the same thing in an outfit. You mm -hmm. want something that's unexpected and yet feels totally right. And sometimes it's a complete surprise. Yeah. Your dining room and the space in general is so open and airy, but I also love the living room. It's so cozy. I love hanging out there with you. Can we go and check it out? Yes, you mean like the other side of the room? Because <laughs> I did take out every wall, so now it's just the living room section. Yes. <laughs> Let's definitely head over there. Okay. So you've managed to create a really different vibe and a really different feeling in the living room. Yeah. It's really warm, it's inviting, it feels really special. I mean, there's a couple of things that I did in here. I added a rug so it's a little bit softer in terms of the feeling. I also put this end table and a couch. This is a custom couch because the only color I liked was like a custom fabric that I had to choose. And you know, I love mid-century modern. So you'll see I have the safari chairs that I believe are from 1962 if I'm not mistaken. And you know, the idea is, is that, again, it's all conversation. It's about print and texture. Color pattern, texture, shine. That's what I used to say all the time on what not to wear. But it really truly applies to your home as well. So I've been here so many times, but for whatever reason, I've never been in your bedroom. My tendency with downstairs is to keep it a little bit more intimate and a little bit more private. private. Mm -hmm. um, but of course, I'm willing to share it with you. And you guys. Can we go check it out? <laughs> okay. Okay. I've never seen a staircase before that sort of functions like a room. And I also, I don't know if this was intentional, but I just want to sit down and read a book. Well, actually, that was the original idea, was that I wanted a staircase that felt like a library. It's still really cozy, though. Yeah, right? But it's, it's like a nook. super cohesive. Well, thanks. Yeah. This is my bedroom, or as I like to refer to it, the cocoon. Um, I built this half wall to make it a little bit more private so you mm -hmm. couldn't see in from the top floor. And is it true that up until recently you had zero art on the walls, nothing? Z zero art. And I realized, I thought originally that putting art down here would feel too claustrophobic because it's lower ceilings, and I thought I needed it to feel more open like it does upstairs. Mm -hmm. And actually, it creates this kind of lovely feeling of coziness. Mm -hmm. So I started creating it feels little- very intimate. Yeah, little stories on each wall. We've waited long enough. <laughs> Can we finally go and see your closet? Come on, let's do it. Okay, good. And here we are. No. Welcome to the lair. <laughs> My heart is pounding. This is so exciting. And this paint color is incredible. Uh, yeah, I was going for a sort of British racing green. 
And again, I wanted the closet to feel separate from the bedroom, not only because there's a door, but because this is like my sanctuary. Mm -hmm. This is where I find my joy. And there's a pretty substantial shoe collection. Come, let's go Yeah. Up. Shoes are great in terms of um, being reflective of a mood, right? I am not usually one of those people who starts from the shoe up with an outfit mm -hmm. because I love finding the shoe that goes with an outfit. Thank you so much for having me over. This was so much fun and I have so many ideas. <laughs> You're welcome, but you know you are coming to dinner next week. I am. You are.